Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Fusion Fall Retro playthrough. My name is Prizzy and in the last part we went through um, a lot of the Dark Tree missions that were available to us in the Darklands level 32. Um, we're about to go back there now because we finally got, I went and raced off camera to get more Fusion Matter. And we got our Courage Nano mission which we're going to be doing um, first things first in this part as well as some other level 33 missions that are available to us after we do that. So that's why I'm here in the dark tree, because our mission right now is asking us to go uh, there. So <laughs> that's what we're going to be doing. Um, first things first, uh, I would like to thank Kay Bowman today for the nano suggestion. Uh, he said it was going to be a maverick and use, uh, instead of Ed, Ed, and Eddie, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Get it? Eduardo. It's funny. Uh, so we're going to be using that one. Um, yeah, I guess there's really not a huge big intro to get into this time, so let's just get right into the, the part. So, uh, racing offline, if you guys want to make sure I actually did race offline, you could check. I, I ended up getting on the leaderboard for, uh, for Cuts and Bruises Skate Park, all time, number eight, that's me. Um, don't mean to brag or anything, but like, yeah, it was pretty good. <laughs> but we got, uh, Ring Around the Collar, which is Courage's nano mission. He says, Fuse is taking the power of the Dark Tree and the Dark Glade and making his monsters more powerful. You have to go to the Dark Glade and infect the zone to take care of four ghastly groves to prevent them from absorbing the powerful energies of the Dark Tree. Yikes. Well, let's hop on our Dynamut Dasher and get across the bridge. We can go take out four ghastly ghosts rather quickly. Um, at least I, I hope so, rather quickly. I think Eduardo will be pretty good at uh, Very nice doing some damage over time against them. Um, I'm assuming, yeah, they're down here as well, so we can kind of just do this. So we'll drain, and we'll use Ed as well. Uh, sleep. Uh, I had a lot of fun discussion about the sleep power in the comments also. That was really fun to read. Um, a lot of people actually came out and said that sleep was a very, very useful power. Or, I guess not a very, very useful power, but a, a useful power nonetheless. And I definitely agree. Yeah, a lot of people are, um, how you say, sleeping on, uh, on sleep. Also, I'm going to gumbo my nano because I forgot to do that after I take out this ghastly growth. I guess it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna be fighting two more of these guys and then I'll be old, like I'll be like running away. But you know, oh yeah. Also, proof that I actually did the thing. Here, look, crates. What do we get? Oh, forever night stuff. I already have. Look at that. I ran Orchid Bay a couple times. <laughs> I just want to prove that I actually did it. So someone's not in the comments like, oh, I bet you didn't actually race. I bet you cheated or whatever. But I can't. There actually is no. Um, ooh, I'm gonna die. I got hit by that eruption tech, I had 1 HP left, like almost. But there actually is no dev command that I can use that will make me level up. I have to go, I have to do that by hand, there's like actually no way, like even if I wanted to, to do that, I, there's no way for me to, you know, falsely level up. Um, at least using, using like commands and stuff. There we go, 4. Yipe! Now defeat the Bully Behemoth, okay. Bully Behemoth over this way. I actually don't think Courage's Lair is even in here. I'm pretty sure Courage's Lair is in the Fire Pits. But I might be wrong. But I'm pretty sure it's in... The Courage's Lair is just not in this effect zone at all. But I mean, it still makes sense as to why we're fighting these guys. Because these are guys that are our level. Also, Eduardo's going to be super useful against these bully behemoths here. I will take that any time of, any time of the day, any day of the week. So, uh... What I have planned for today's part is I'm planning on us doing... Um, some, not, every mission that we can do at level 33, except for the cheese ones, I want to kind of keep all the cheese ones, uh, you know, centered in their own episode, because they're really good. <laughs> so all the cheese missions we'll be doing, I think, separately. Um, at least in another part. I'll probably upload, um, a part, I, I, again, I don't want to say this and then not have it come true and everyone be mad at me, but I want to try my best to get a part up this weekend. I norm I normally don't upload, I normally don't upload this playthrough on weekends, normally this is a weekday thing, but... Uh, I've missed two days this week already, just due to me not being available during the day to record. So, I feel like I uh, definitely want to, you know, make up for some of the time. Um, especially because we're almost done. <laughs> like, it's crazy. Hooray, now you need to go to Fire Pits Infecto. Okay, Fire Pits Infecto, that's where I thought. I knew Courage's Lair was not in here. Uh, so I was right about that one. But, um, we're actually, <laughs> like, we're actually just looking at, we are almost done with this game, which is crazy. Which is crazy to think of. Like level thirty six is the max, and we're about to we're about to level up to level thirty three, and like level thirty five and thirty six are very very short. Like there's maybe there's I guess not anymore. Level thirty six is still very short because of uh, you know it's the last level. Like you mainly just fight fuse, 
Um, and there's like a couple other things to do, but like, I guess 35 is a bit longer now because of the uh, the Echo Echo missions that we added, um, which I kind of forgot to consider into that uh, that factor. I'm just gonna run past. Oh, I'm gonna put this guy to sleep. Look at that. Don't want to fight him. Put him to sleep. Um, but yeah, it's actually kind of crazy how <laughs> how close we are to the end of the game. Now, uh, there are there is still a lot to do. Obviously, um, I saw. I don't remember exactly who commented, but someone asked if I was gonna be doing the guide missions for the other three guides that I didn't pick because I picked Double D. Um, so we've been doing Double D's guide missions, but we haven't been doing Dexter's or Ben's or Mojo Jojo's. And I'm definitely gonna go through and do those as well. Like, uh, I wanna, I wanna try to do everything I can in this game. So, definitely will be. You can definitely look forward to me going through. Um, probably what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to, um, I'm gonna get up to beating Fuse. Like, I'm going to do everything I can. I'm gonna get to level 36 and then do all the missions. I'm gonna do like Fuse No More Part Three, not Four, just Three. Um, I'm gonna do all the Master Weapon quests. I'm gonna do everything, um, and then I'm gonna go back while I'm level 36 and, and run through the rest of the guide missions, which shouldn't take us too long considering that I am, um, uh, you know, a high level. But I think it would be a little fun, a little fun, not necessarily a challenge, but like a little fun thing to do is since the guide missions reward you with armor and weapons, um, I think using those might be kind of good, unless it's like a grenade. Even if it is a grenade, I can at least try it out. Um, but like using the, um, using the guide rewards that I get for like, like, so, so it's not like super unfair, like I'm not just like running through these like level 12 areas with my level 36 gear and just like one-shotting every monster, which I probably still will do, because combat is, the combat in this game is more based on your level difference than your armor and weapons, which, uh, you know, there's positives and negatives to that, I'm not going to get into the whole uh, argument about all that stuff, but <laughs> um, I think it would be a little fun, and it would be able to show off a lot of the guide sets, and then you could, you'd be able to see kind of like what we've uh what what you could have gotten um throughout the whole thing because we've, we've kind of been showing off some of that ed guide sets maybe i'll go through and show those off like proper um instead of kind of just showing them off natural uh, naturally through a playthrough but that's at least what I'm, I'm trying to go for on the on the guide missions and i uh, hopefully you guys are down to, to see that because i'm down to make this playthrough longer than it needs to be we are at the fire pits infection zone now you gotta find <gasps> fusion courage shiver i guess i i kind of gasped i didn't gulp Curse says gulp, so I guess I'd be like, oh. I can't really gulp. That's a weird, that's a weird thing. Gulping? That's not something that I normally do. So I'm just gonna kind of run. I'm pretty sure Courage's lair is, um, I'm pretty sure Courage's lair is on, like, the ground floor, kind of near the back. So I feel like if I just, hold on, yeah, it's in the back. So I feel like if I just walk there, uh, we should be fine. <laughs> uh, I don't want to get stuck in the middle of this thing. Because you can. Uh, no, I don't think you can, actually. Um, but it is a bit hard to jump out at all the places you want to. There's a lair we already been to, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure, right? We've been there. Get off and we'll put you to sleep, too. Paging Dr. Ed. Underrated power. <laughs> if you just want to run to places. Is that a big guy? No, that's a regular stone drake. Yeah, it's Fusion Ed's lair. We've been there. I'm using the nano that we got from that lair right now. But a lot of the fusion placements in the dark lands are a bit weird, I guess, because like technically we should be fighting a fusion in the dark tree, because that's kind of what we've been doing this whole, like we are the level of the dark tree. But like, nope, we got to go to the fire pits. It also is weird because like F Juniper Lee was in Monkey Mountain for some reason, even though you got her after Hex, who was in whatever. It's fine. Get fusion courage. We're not afraid of you, fuse. Okay. Well, I'm gonna put you to sleep because I don't want to fight you. He can still attack me. Oh, he, his corruption tech blocked it. I forgot that you can do that. So, uh, this is something that I've, I think I've talked about before, but you know, just to reiterate, if a monster is using a corruption attack against you, um, you can't... Um, I think I just have to go this way. If a monster is using a corruption attack against you, you can't... Um, you can't at you can't use a nano power against it. Like, nano powers won't work. Um, like, you can't stun it, you can't drain it. Um, you can only use nano powers on yourself if you're being corruption attacked against, which is something to consider. Which is why Ed's sleep did not work there. This is a very, very short layer, I'm pretty sure, because I'm pretty sure Fusion Courage is right here. Like, we had to fight two monsters. I guess technically three. There he is. Look at Fusion Courage. Hello. I'm gonna put him to sleep and see what happens. He is freedom. I can't put him to sleep. <laughs> well, let's fight Fusion Courage. 
He's got some health on him. Oh, man. I guess Eddie would be the most useful nano against him. He also uses, like, I guess it's, like, dog barking noises to attack. There we go. We got we got Courage down. One of the cutest nanos in the game. Look at Courage. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, so he has Horrific Cow, which is a drain point. He has Soft Shoe Shimmy, which is a heal. And he has Cower Power, which is a scavenge. Now, um, I would say Horrific Heal is a great... A great power, um, but we already have Eduardo, who's an Adaptium with Drain. Um, Scarab Power is a great power, um, but we really don't need Scavenge because um, we're like we got plenty of missions left. Um, I know I had to grind. I know that's kind of ironic because I had to grind to get to this level, but it wasn't that much, and that was because I forgot to use Scavenge the previous level. Um, but Slaps you Shimmy, Health Self. I, I firmly believe that Heal Self is the best power in this entire game, so I'm definitely going to be getting uh, Heal. On courage, and I'm not going to be using him today because that would be unfair to my man K Bowman for suggesting this nano lineup and only having it be used for 10 minutes of a however many minute long part. Um, so what I'm going to do? I'm going to speed run a little bit. I'm going to die here. The stone drake gonna, about to about to whoop me a little bit. Take me out. You only want to. Um, but if you guys want to leave a comment with your nano suggestions featuring courage, the cowardly dog, um, do it. Do it. Put it in the comments below, and I will. I'll definitely use it in a future playthrough part. And by future playthrough part, I mean next part. Um, maybe a part after that, too. Who knows? Okay, so. We now have a couple of missions to gather. Um, and they both involve me not being here. So, I'm going to cut the video and I'm going to be back. Uh, I'm going to go to Forsaken Valley, which is where most of the missions I can get are. So, uh, I lied. <laughs> I'm not going to Forsaken Valley. I actually went here. To nowhere because I forgot the guide missions exist and we got to do uh, our guide mission for the level. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, if I said it was gonna be Forsaken Valley, it just wasn't. Uh, plant plan. I think I know how you can find the candy. Take the dark tree seed to Heroes Hollow. If you plant it in the right spot, it might lead us to the candy's location. Okay, I don't know if that works, but we're certainly gonna try. Okay, now we'll fly back to Blackhead. On my way here, I opened some crates. I probably should have waited to do that now, but I found this really cool shirt. The Crimson Filigree shirt. I don't know how to pronounce that. Filigree shirt. Um, and it was just as good as this one, and I think it looks better with my number five hat. I think it really, like, complements it very well, so I put that on um, as well. By the way, if uh, if you're wondering where I got this number five hat and you did not watch all the way to the end of last part, uh, go do that. Because at the very end of the last part, I show you how you can get the number five hat. Because it's a code you can enter using the very brand new uh, redeem code option down here. Uh, I don't have any codes to redeem. I've already redeemed all the ones you can. Which are just uh, anniversary hat, which gives you this, and then the super secret one. That I'm not going to say right now because I want you to go watch the other video if you haven't gotten it yet. <laughs> oh, sneaky me, sneaky me. Anyway. Um, so I forgot about this one. Gurge is gonna make us go get, defeat some eyeballs. Ed doesn't actually have an email from us as well. That's actually, that's kind of a rare how he doesn't, um, have an email from us. Also, when I'm actually doing the other guide missions, I will probably, I will do my best to, uh, to read the emails and stuff. I know I haven't been doing a very good job with that with, uh, with Double D, just because I've been doing them kind of intertwined with the other missions. But if I'm focusing specifically on guide missions and guide missions only, um, I'll probably be a lot more, uh, apt to, uh, to read these. Um, also, Dynamo Dasher time. <laughs> I love this guy so much. Anyway, we're going to the Darklands. Because Jack and Tetrax also have missions for us as well. Um, so let's head on up here. Um, we can also do, as you see, Echo Echo over there. We can do the Echo Echo and the Cheese and the Albedo Nano Enhancement missions. However, um, I don't want to do those yet. I'm going to save those for another part. Especially the Albedo and Echo Echo ones. So that's going to be a while before we get there. Um, but let's do these missions that Tetrax and Jack have for us. Fusion Assembly Line Part 3. The eye bulbs in Heroes Hollow were prepping the site for a fuse's machine. If you take some of them out, you may stall the construction. Okay, so it looks like more eye bulbs are, you know, kind of building the Fusion Assembly Line that we need to stop. We also have some more to do. We have You Do Know Jack. You Do Know Jack. You must travel to Heroes Hollow to add weapons to the Master Weapon Arsenal. Ancient spirits are causing the Shell Worms to frenzy. Hurry. As well as Control Center Assault Part 3. This might be my favorite one of the Control Center Assaults. The next Fusion Control Center is guarded by a wily trio of fusions. You will utilize supernatural energies to weaken Fuse's defenses. Don't worry, you'll have help. Okay. 
So that's uh, that's what we gotta do. Uh, I'm gonna save these missions for now. Um, let's go to Hunter's Crest because Hunter's Crest, of course, borders Heroes Hollow. So. What do we gotta do? We gotta defeat six eye bulbs, take the dark tree seed to Heroes Hollow. I think I know a good spot to plant the seed. You will need to clear out some monsters before you can plant the seed. Uh, eye bulbs in Heroes Hollow are preparing the site for Fuse's machine. You must stop them, as well as you do know Jack is another master weapon uh, mission. The ancient strength is attacking the shell worms. Okay, and then this one is the fruit of control center. Okay. Grim is going to help us this time, so we'll have supernatural powers. So, something I just realized, like, at this very moment in time just now, about the control center missions. The first mission was, uh, we had Blossom, right? The second one, we had Dexter. The third one, we have Grim. I don't remember what the fourth one was. I think the fourth one's Billy, but I'm not sure. I guess I could go look it up, but, like, where's the fun in that? Um, um, something that I'm wondering, like, just off the bat... I wonder if this is a early remnant, or maybe a reference, um, of the old nano uh, uh, grouping system. Because, um, I don't think I've ever talked about this on, on the playthrough episode. Um, so you know how nanos are, are uh, adapting Blast on's Cosmics? Um, back when the game was originally created, um, back when the game was in the planning stages, that was not always the case. There was no ABC. Um, it was, uh, for a while it was, it was a couple of things before that. It was like, you know, ice and rock and fire or whatever. And they had like a trio or something. But, um, very early on, they grouped up nanos by characteristics. So they grouped up nanos into four characteristics. Uh, one was technology, one was superhero, one was supernatural, and one, I forgot what the fourth one was. The fourth one was imagination or something like that, I think. Um... And it was like, uh, it was kind of like that, which was, it was like, so obviously the Powerpuff Girls would be like superhero, and Grimm would be supernatural, and Dexter would be sci like technology science. Which is why I'm wondering if these missions were kind of a remnant of that, the control center ones, because uh, Blossom would obviously represent superhero, um, Grimm would represent supernatural, Dexter would represent technology, and then I'm assuming, I think the last one's Billy, and Billy would very much represent imagination. Because like, imagination was basically Ed and Eddie, it was, um... The, all the all the imaginary friends and Mac basically, um, and then Billy and and stuff like that, uh, which is really weird to think about. If I had, I wish I hadn't remembered the full list, and I really don't want to bring it up right now. <laughs> like go find it because I probably I don't know where it is. But we also have a mission from Mango, by the way. The last skull. Do you seek the wishing skulls? Of course you do. I'll be happy to tell you about where the last one is for a price, of course. The last one. We have one more wish. I remember we have one more wishing skull to do. Uh, it is not this level though. We, we cannot do it this level. I believe it is level 34. Um, but if you want to go to Heroes Hollow, you can uh, head over this way, and you have to go through the the um, the thing. There's also a mission over here. That's for meat and cheese. Uh, we're not going to be meat and cheese today, unfortunately. Meat and cheese will be have to wait for a while. We have to go through this creepy little fusion breeder's legs. Um, Kind of gross. And we have arrived in Heroes Hollow. Uh, it is essentially just a giant battleground that has been destroyed. Um, right now we need to go find... Oh, there's a Mini Echo Echo! Oh my gosh, I didn't think I'd have to explain this yet. Um, so Mini Echo Echoes kind of wander around the Darklands now. Um, if you can fight one, which we will, of course. We're going to fight this guy. Uh, if you fight this guy and you win, which we will do, we're going to win. You can get... Null Void Coordinates. Um, we will definitely be uh, talking about those a lot later. Um, but not right now. I didn't expect to see a Mini Echo Echo so fast. Um, but let's go fight some eye bulbs, I guess, while we're here. Eye bulbs are gross little... Oh, they got... Ew. Eye bulbs always creep me out, too. They got little... Ew. They got little eyes on them. They're gross. I guess the, I, they're, they're called eye bulbs, so, you know, it makes sense for them to be gross. Also... Uh, now that I remember, we should be uh, gumballing our nanos. I'm going to do that. Here's a big group of three. I should be able to fight them with my big chill scatter gun. Yeah, we got this. No no problem at all. So we need one more eye bulb for uh, at least this mission. I know we have to defeat, I think we have to defeat like 10 of them for the other mission. Here we go. Okay, now plant the seed in the special spot that I found. That is 
in the precipice over there. Okay. Uh, so we're going to not be doing that. We're going to defeat more eye bulbs because we have to. Defeat ten of them, in fact. Don't worry, the seed can't the seed can't take root, but it should tell us where the candy is. Okay. You know, I, I believe you, Courage. I believe you, Courage. Also, so what I should be doing is I should be, um, I realize when I'm doing a group of three like that, I should be putting the other ones to sleep, and then... And then just picking up the other ones one by one. Good. Fuse's construction cannot continue now. There's another mini echo over there. They kind of, they kind of wander around. We must discuss final steps. Come back and see me at once. Okay. Um, well, uh, I'm going to feed seven shell worms because they're right here. And there's another mini echo echo. Might as well fight it. I imagine since it's very early on like a weekday morning that I'm playing this, uh, not a lot of people are on, which means that not a lot of people are hunting um, mini echo echoes because obviously early morning on a weekend is probably the least populated time for the game because you know people are at work or I think some people honestly have started school already um, we're gonna fight some shell worms I get to I start school in two weeks so that's gonna be fun I'm gonna be able to move into my own room well, not that I don't have my own room here because I do but this is at home <laughs> I'm not at school uh, and I'm gonna be able to set up I'm so excited honestly to move in I got that I got my other, I got my stuff set up I bought a desk I never bought a desk before I bought a desk it's sitting right over there actually in this room uh, it's kind of over the corner I have to build it because it is from Ikea you know they don't they don't build uh, they don't build it for you at Ikea they kind of um, they kind of say okay good luck you can build it right you have experience which I do but like it's kind of rude to assume that everyone else does <laughs> But I got a nice desk. It's huge. It'll definitely be able to support my my monitor setup I got going on right now. I definitely want to try to get a third monitor. I know that sounds kind of crazy, but I want to get a third monitor that's like vertical, because that just looks really sick. I don't even know what I'd put on it most of the time, but a third vertical monitor sounds like the play, and it also will definitely 100% fit on that desk, because that desk is massive. Like I think these two. I have two monitors right now, and I think that they would take up maybe half the desk. Um, obviously, like the maybe like a quarter, honestly, because of, of, I'm not gonna put them. They're not gonna take up the whole width of the or the whole length of the desk, like front to back. We need one more shell room as well. Um, let's go over here. I wanna don't wanna stray too far away from the path, but shell worms also really gross. They flop around like a walrus almost. Um, I'm not sure I like them. <laughs> they kind of creep me out. The shell worms dropped a bone pickaxe. Is a pickaxe really a weapon? It's more of a tool. I guess it's because uh, I'm really desensitized from Minecraft. But, like, we have to deliver that to back to Jack. Uh, no. Where do we have to go for Control Center Assault Part 4? I don't really care right now. What we want to do is we want to go get a Meteoric Sentry Guard. A Meteoric Sentry's Tendril. Which, let me also say, uh, the, uh, the, you're going to be hearing this from me a lot. Meteoric Sentries? Very creepy. All the monsters in the dark. Oh, hello. Hello, Sacked Commando. Hello there. They, they have the wrong, uh, you have the wrong, look at the, look at the icon at the top. It's the wrong person. But the heroes thought they could make one final stand to drive Fuse from the world. You can see how it turned out. Yeah. Uh, we'll be getting into the Battle of Heroes Hollow, um, lore-wise a lot. I'm pretty sure this person also has the wrong icon as well. Yeah, it does. I think they all share the same icon. Um, they, they forgot to, like, differentiate them. Um, I'm not sure, I'm not gonna say they all did, because I haven't talked to every single sacked agent in this, uh, in this area, but what I'm pretty sure they did is they copy-pasted most of them and then changed them, but forgot to change the voices. Um, which is, I think they all say the same thing, so it's, like, it doesn't really matter, you know? They're just, like, extra NPCs. Oh, another mini Echo! Hold on, let's see how many Echoes we can fight in this part without actually trying to. Oh, there's another one back there! There's a mission where we have to go and actually find one, and watch us, watch when we actually have to do this, we, we, we can't find one. Um, but we just fought four of them in the, like, in, in a little bit. I think that's the control center right there, if I'm being honest. Let's go talk to this one. I want to see if their icon is messed up. It is. Okay, so I'm pretty sure they just all are messed up. Anyway, we have tendrils to, to get meteoric century tendrils. But look at how gross these guys are. Like the uh, obviously, like the late Dark Lens enemies are super gross. Um, that's the point: is that these are like the grossest of the enemies. 
Um, these are like the actual fusion creatures. These aren't just like, um... Also, is that like a... I guess it doesn't... Is that like an anchor on its head? I can't really tell what this is made out of. Like, it looks like it's like an anchor on, the, on their head. But it also kind of doesn't. Also, these guys are rather spread out, so I kind of hope I find this meteoric century tendril soon. Because, uh... I would much appreciate that. I want to try not to stray too far into Green Maw, because I'm pretty sure that those enemies are different. Actually, Green Maw kind of has like a, a giant Fusion Matter C in the way, so I think we'll be fine. No. They got four ten- I, I guess, depending on what you consider a tendril, they got like anywhere from four to six of them. So like, I feel like it's pretty unreasonable to say we haven't found one yet, but that's okay. I'll play your game. I'll keep fighting Meteoric Sentries. Also, I don't know what that even... Like, why are they called... I don't know why they're called Meteoric Sentries. What is, I guess because they come from Meteors. Maybe. Is that what, kind of what they're made out of? I don't really know. They don't look like they're made out of Meteors. But I guess Planet Fusion and Meteors kind of go hand in hand. So, like, maybe it's just a, kind of like a little reference to that. There are more Sentries as well. This is not the only time that the Sentries are used. Uh, I believe they're used in Fuse's Lair. And I believe they're also used in Green Maw. Honestly, that might be in the precipice too, I don't remember. No, I don't think they're using Green Maw, now that I'm thinking about it. I don't remember. Late game, again, late game I'm super fuzzy about, because I never actually made it this far in the original game. So, all of my experience playing in the Darklands, um, like late game, has all been in retro. So, and I don't have that much experience, I've only beaten the game one time. This would be my second time beating the game. I have beaten the game on stream, and I will be beating the game more times on stream as well. You are a mighty warrior. Bring me that tendril. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that's the layer right there. Yes, it is. That's the control center. Let's go in the control center as well. Well, let's wait for Jack to say. You will find the next fusion control center here. Grim, where are you? Where is Grim? I'm wondering. I am on my way to the control center, Jack. I hope this trip was worth it. Yes. Let's go in. This is my favorite of the control center missions because you get to fight the fusion cankers. <laughs> How can I help Fuse keeps taking me. Oh, he's just, that's what he normally says. So Grim's just here again. He doesn't join your group. Oh no, what is this? Some disgusting fusion girl children. That's true. Um, so this, I believe this is the only time you get to fight the fusion cankers, uh, fusion canker sisters. Um, so we're going to have a blast with this one. Um, here's May. Uh, I love how you fight them all together in one layer. May is tanky. Oh my gosh, I gotta use Drain on her. Um, but... no, oh, she uses stun a lot, too. There we go, we got one down. Excellent, there are two more fusions to fight. You're right. There's some giant shellworms over in the corners, but you're never gonna have to fight those. Um, Marie is in the middle here. I think Marie looks the coolest out of all the fusions. Um, I just think that her hair, um, really... Like, I guess the color of her hair works a lot better compared to... Because her hair's already blue. I think her hair being, like, dark green really works well. Now you must defeat Fusion Lee. And Fusion Lee is tiny. Look how look how small Fusion Lee is, by the way. She's so small! Well, I'm gonna try to put her to sleep if I can. Just so you can see how small she is. Look at- why is she that- why is she so tiny? Fusion Lee is- Fusion Lee is a short queen. Or a short king. I guess Fusion- Fusions don't necessarily have genders, so. She's a... <laughs> Fusion Lee is a short king. <laughs> we done it! Again. Grim. Again. We. Again. <laughs> we. I understand that I think originally you were supposed to fight them with Grim. So that dialogue makes sense in that regard, but... We did not do anything, Grim. You have not failed us. Leave there now and come back to me. Are you sure? Are you sure about that? Okay, so now we gotta return to Jack, return to Texture We gotta plant the Dark Seed. That's the last thing we have to do while we're here. Um, so I'm gonna take my trusty Dynamo Dasher over to the Precipice, which is technically a level 34 area, so it's it's gonna be next levels when we're gonna kinda go to the Precipice. Um, but I guess it's not too crazy, because I think it's just up there by the mountain. I wonder if it's by the hub, because it kinda looks like it's near the hub, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it is near the hub. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna get a glimpse of the precipice hub, um, I guess, uh, which we technically are not supposed to get a glimpse of for a little bit. But you see all these echo echoes kind of dotting the landscape a little bit. Echo echo guards. 
Echo Echo and Albedo are here. They have, they have missions for us and stuff. Oh, it's Mega Fusion Education. Son of Sorin Sonata. I wrote that mission. Anyway, uh, this is another hub that we'll be f dealing with next one. And it, you actually have to plant the seed next to where the No Void Projector is. Unfertile ground. The candy is hidden deep below Fuse's lair, Wimper. You should probably go see Samurai Jack about this. He's in Forsaken Valley. And this right here concludes... The candy is in an underground cave. You need to go see Samurai Jack now. This actually concludes our time with courage. Um, the the next three guide missions that we have to do. I'm going to register here and I'm going to fly to a Hunter's Crest. The next three missions that we have to do um, for guide missions are all given to us by Samurai Jack. So we're actually done with courage. Um, we don't have to go back to nowhere to do uh, any more of those missions. Also, let's put our coordinate data down here. Just so I don't forget them. We have sax pants that are a lot better. Uh, and they kind of go well with the boots, so I'll put those on. Let's see what else we got. Anything crazy? Anything nice and... Ooh, we got a fuse breaker tsunami. This is my favorite fuse breaker just because it's blue. Um, I know it's not as good as uh, my rifle, but is it better than my other shatter gun? 584. F oh, it is. Okay, we're using the fuse breaker. Um, fuse breakers are cool. Um, you get your... The fuse breaker... Um, the normal fuse breaker is like level 27 or something. Ooh, the stink fly stink bomb. Uh, not a good weapon, but it, it is sure is a weapon. Um, you get the first fuse breaker, like level 27 or something. You get the fuse breaker tsunami, the fuse breaker, um, I don't remember what the other one is. And the fuse breaker hurricane is what you get actually as a reward for beating fuse. And that's the only place you can get it. But I love this. I, this is my favorite of them just because I love the blue color, um, personally. Anyway, uh, so we got, oh, we have, we returned to the Mongo. The Mongo, we have, uh, the final wishing skull mission that we kind of, uh, helped us do so or we didn't he didn't help us at all but we helped him do the last skull yes this tendril possesses much of fuse's power i can already feel my energies growing the wishing skull that you see can be found in the precipice very good this tendril possesses much power the wishing skull you see can be found in the precipice now be gone lest i decide to eat your soul as well hey where you go all right Let's go back to... I almost went back to the precipice. No, we don't want to do that. We want to go to Forsaken Valley. Because we've got to return our control center quest, our pickaxe, and we've talked to Tetrax. But yeah, I actually didn't realize that, like, the whole control center... So we, we shut down three control centers so far. And I honestly, like, didn't know that that was a reference. Because it definitely is a reference to... Like, it's too much of a coincidence to not be a reference to how nanos used to be. Um, so essentially... Um, they used to be grouped up into categories for, uh, it was, I already said it, but it was technology, supernatural, superhero, and imagination, I think. I, I, I might be iffy on what the imagination one was called, but it was basically that. Um, so, like, obviously, Buttercup and Blossom and Bubbles would be superhero. Who else would be superhero? Uh, I believe Forums was superhero. Um, um... Because when they, back when they, um, back when they made that, back when that was, like, the way that they sorted nanos, uh, Swampfire and Humongous Sword didn't exist. It was Upgrade and Ghost Freak. So Ghost Freak was obviously supernatural, and Upgrade was technology. Um, and then Imagina uh, Imagination was, um, like, Eduardo, DD, um, Double, no, not Double D. Double D was definitely technology. Um, Megas was technology as well. Him was supernatural. Utonium was technology. You can kind of, see, you kind of, like, like, it's pretty obvious what a lot of these were. Like, Hex, obviously, supernatural. Juniper Lee. Juniper Lee's a bit weird, but I'm pretty sure she was superhero. The kids next door, obviously, all superhero, because they all have, like, superhero kind of qualities. Stuff like that. But, now we're here. Back in the Darklands Forsaken Valley area. Um, we're going to go turn Tetrax's in first, because it's uh, less important. <laughs> We must now strike at the center of Fuse's operations, or he will start building the assembly line anew. We will not be able to withstand entire army of fusions. I am going to scavenge. I forgot. <laughs> I've been forgetting to scavenge this whole time. Hold on. Let's throw Buttercup in the then the roster. Let's give her a gumball. And here we go. Now we can actually go and turn in. The quest. So we already read text tracks, so I'm just gonna kind of speed through this. Bam, bam. Excellent. Fuse may not be able to mass produce, may not be able to mass produce fusion zone, but we have to make sure that he simply can't start up again. We also have Samurai Jack. You do know Jack, part one. 
Very good. I believe we can detect the ancient spirits as soon as they attack fuses monsters. The master weapon is at hand. Good work. Your skills have vastly improved. I will add this bone pack X to the master weapon arsenal. So another weapon added to the arsenal. And the last but not least, control center assault part three. Excellent victory. Fuse does not know what is coming next. Damongo, our reluctant ally, will lead you through the final steps in the plan. Now is the time for the part of the plan that Fuse does not expect. You must go see Damongo at the Dark Tree. Our uneasy alliance continues. And that is it. That is all we got for today's part. We're going to be going through Cheese's stuff next. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy the series, go or you guys are enjoying the series, you guys enjoyed the episode, go ahead and leave a like on the video. It really does uh, help out a lot, and I really do truly appreciate it. Um, also, uh, since we got our Courage Nano, we'll go through. Comment your three favorite nanos that I have. Um, bonus points if you include Courage, because we just got them. And, uh, and uh, put them in the comments below, and I will use my favorite lineups in a future playthrough part. Also, if you guys uh, don't mind, a subscription to the channel with notifications on would be very much appreciated. We are almost to 6K. 6K subscribers, that's crazy. That's actually crazy. Um, so if you, if you want to help us reach that goal and you aren't already subscribed, um... Uh, go ahead and, and subscribe, and I would be very, very appreciative of that, and very thankful. Also, if you guys leave the notifications on next to the channel, um, next to the subscribe button, there's like a little bell. If you hit the bell, turn on notifications for the channel. Tell me in the comments. I'll give you a crispy shout-out in a future episode of this playthrough. So, that's going to be for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time with some more Fusion Fall Retro Fun. Bye!